Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back. Welcome to this week's Croctober Fall Soup Friday video. That was hard to get out. I wasn't real sure how I was going to do that, but I got it out. I wasn't sure if I was going to say recipe, video, meal. It worked though, right? I'm sitting here in my sweatshirt by the fireplace wishing that it was a cool fall afternoon. You know, it's 81 degrees outside here in Alabama right now. It's hot. I'm gonna have to go find me a t-shirt and put it on. I'm a little glistening too because it's hot. We're not gonna let that stop us though. No, we are not. We have a soup in the crock pot and I am excited about it. It is Italian meatball soup. Now this video is a collab with my good friend Amanda from His Bountiful Blessings and several other ladies. The playlist will be down in the description box. We've been doing um, a soup recipe for you every Friday for the month of October and all of mine have been in the crock pot. That's why it's Croctober, right? The original recipe is going to be down in the description box, but I'll go ahead and tell y'all, I changed it up. Y'all know I did. I gotta, I gotta put my own spin on it. So I changed some things up. You'll notice that if you go and check out the original recipe. I think it's gonna turn out good though because it sure is smelling good in here right now. All right, let's head into the kitchen and I'll show you exactly what I put in my crock pot and show you how we put this meal together. Here's everything we need for the Italian meatball soup. Right, I've got four cups of beef broth. We'll also need two cups of water. Two carrots, two ribs of celery, a medium onion. I only used half of it. And I've also got three tomatoes out, but I only used two. Some Italian style meatballs, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, a bay leaf, some fresh spinach, and some pasta. I've showed this before, but I thought I would go ahead and show it again in this video. This is what I'm using to make my beef broth. I also have the chicken version of this. It's a broth base and seasoning. So you can actually just use this to season things or you can create broth with it. Y'all, it's really good and it makes a beautiful broth. Now comes the time to chop up all of these veggies. We're gonna chop and drop. Chop them up and drop them in the crock pot. I'm just gonna let the music play and let y'all watch me chop some veggies. <laughs> So the actual recipe called for diced tomatoes in a can, but I had some fresh tomatoes and I thought, you know what, that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm glad I did because I really liked how it turned out. All right, now I'm putting in about half of that bag of Italian meatballs. That was probably like 15 or 16 ounces of the Italian meatballs. And then our beef broth, our water, and all of our seasonings. I'm gonna stir everything together. And then the recipe said to cook this on low for seven hours, but I got a really late start on this. So I cooked mine on high for about three or three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. 
After we've let this cook for about three hours, we will come back and add in our spinach and our pasta. You'll see that in just a second. Okay, so now that this has cooked through, we're gonna add in about three to five ounces of fresh spinach. This will wilt down really quick. And then we'll also add in a cup of pasta. You can see I also got out of that sweatshirt. It was so hot. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my cup of pasta. I'm using almost like mini bow tie noodles. Use whatever you want. My only suggestion is that you use something small because I just think it works really well in this soup. Then you'll also see me fish out the bay leaf because nobody wants to <laughs> bite down on a bay leaf in their bowl of soup. Put the lid back on and let it cook for about 30 more minutes just until that pasta is done and then it's ready to serve. Y'all is a little bit surprised. I'm gonna tell you why. The two people that I thought might be iffy on this, like, eh, I don't know if I like it. They're the two that actually enjoyed it the most. The boys, the two youngest. I was a little surprised. We all really liked it though. That's gonna do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you try this soup, let us know if you like it. We'll see you next time. Bye y'all.